let me introduce you to Emanuel Velikovsky, a man who caused incredible controversy in his time. In the 1950s, he wrote a book called Worlds in Collision, which had as its main theme the cataclysmic destruction on Earth caused by planets in our solar system. He believed that mythology and legend should be interpreted literally. Velikovsky proposed that many myths and traditions of ancient peoples are based on actual events. Worldwide global catastrophes of a celestial origin actually have profound effects on the lives, beliefs and writings of early mankind. Professor Emilio Spedicato of the University of Bergamo says, World's Inclusion is a book of wars in the celestial sphere that took place in historical times. In these wars, the planet Earth participated too. The historical cosmological story of this book is based on the evidence of historical texts of many people around the globe, on classical literature, on epics of the northern races, on sacred books of the peoples of the Orient and Occident, on traditions and folklore of primitive peoples, on old astronomical inscriptions and charts, on archaeological finds, and also on geological and paleontological material. However, for 40 years, these highly controversial theories were to remain an anathema to the academic world. Then in June 1994, an event occurred that was to radically change scientific thought and give credibility to Velikovsky's ideas. Myth and legend once dismissed had to be re-examined. What was this catastrophic event? In June 1994, a rogue comet, Shoemaker Levy 9, approached Jupiter. Observers on Earth soon realized that it was on a collision course. But what happened next was totally unexpected. Without warning, it split into 23 large pieces. Then one by one, these pieces plummeted into Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. Well above the surface of Jupiter, it flashed and discharged and then plummeted into the huge planet. Each destruction site was the size of Earth. The effects persisted for months afterwards. Simultaneously, a transparent gas cloud was released that enveloped the planet. For the first time, modern man had witnessed a comet collide with a planet. What was thought to be a stable solar system was now a place where the unexpected could happen. Could this have occurred on Earth? Had mankind actually witnessed such an event? Could it happen to Earth in the future? No one could now deny any of these possibilities. Velikovsky's work has inspired a new generation of scientists to examine new models for the universe. Will these ideas reinforce what mythology has been telling us all along? Could Baalbek be the scene of an interplanetary event? Was Velikovsky right? But what's your view on Velikovsky's books? Well, I think he nailed some important truths. Uh, to begin with, his idea that uh, planetary uh, catastrophes had occurred in the past and had shaped both the Earth and mankind. The other one was uh, he threw down the gauntlet to uh, astronomers when he said that the solar system had an electromagnetic nature as well as gravitational. In fact, uh, the only scientist of note to pick up that gauntlet, I think, was Einstein just before his death because he became interested and uh, discussed with Velikovsky. Yes, I, I read they had great arguments over this in the living room, apparently. Yes, yes, uh, to the extent that Einstein uh, was um, ready to submit proposals uh, for experiments to be done to uh, try and verify Velikovsky's view. So we've had to wait this time to uh, see it verified. Yeah, well, unfortunately, uh, Einstein died at about the time when he was to submit the, uh, uh, the proposal. Uh, and, of course, it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he was very interested in the fact that um, Jupiter 
was found to emit radio noises because that was one of Velikovsky's predictions. And that was quite unexpected. It was unexpected, time. yeah. Mm. Cosmology is supposed to be the queen of the sciences, yet its students are taught nothing about electrical activity in the universe. They go on to make the mistake of treating plasma like a heated gas, and they talk of the solar wind, for instance, and of shock fronts. Cosmologists need to rethink their ideas about gravity. If you look at our solar system, it's a complete fruit salad. The different characteristics of the planets, their tilts, their spins and their atmospheres, all belie the idea that this has been a natural progression from some simple beginning. And when NASA looks into deep space, we see things changing more rapidly than is expected on this kind of slow evolutionary picture. This belief in a Newtonian clockwork solar system, where what we see today in the skies you would have seen four billion years ago. But nothing could be further from the truth. The ancient skies would bear no resemblance at all to what we see today. In fact, I would guarantee that if any of us were transplanted back in time, if that were possible, that we would be frightened out of our wits. Today, Jupiter casts thunderbolts at its moon Io. Thus, interplanetary discharges do occur. The close approach of a comet would have produced just such a massive electrical discharge. Or alternatively, Jupiter, coming close by the Earth, would have affected its magnetosphere. All these things would have produced horrific damage on Earth. Tsunamis, unseen of today, huge earthquakes, volcanoes, and terrifying storms. These events were witnessed by the ancients and it affected their religion and it was recorded in their mythology. In the past we have had massive extinctions due to cosmic events. In the early century of the prison era, the Romans at one time counted 50 comets in their skies. This is unheard of today. With the skies over Rome the end of a bloody era, that only in recent centuries has become stabilised, can there be bones of truth in this mythology? So how do we explain these dreadful cataclysms that decimated mankind? Baalbek's just one example. Conventional science is lost. It rejects mythology. It clings to outmoded scientific concept. It's bogged down in theory-laden ideas. Velikovsky's previously neglected ideas inspire us to look at the world in a totally new light. Let's draw together these disciplines, these different sciences, archaeology, history, mythology, compare them, and if we do that, we'll get the answers we seek. New developments in science and technology are changing the way we view the world. Not only will it change the way we look at the future, the way we look at the past. The age of cataclysmic evolution and the mechanics of the chaotic solar system have arrived. What happens on planet Earth today is nothing as compared to events of the recent past.